we're taking Bella today to get groomed at PetSmart. a schedule appointment it's called rapid service where your dog is not caged the groomer is with the dog at all times I called ahead of time and made the appointment when I got there I told the groomer to remind them again about it and we were told that the one we were scheduled with had been called in sick okay so there was another girl, she's a recent hire groomer, and she said, I said, whoa, well, do you know about Pomeranians? Because cutting Pomeranians is a whole different thing. It's not like a regular dog. She says, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She knew how to cut Pomeranians. Her mom had a grooming business and she grew up with groomers. We specifically told them when they took the dog, we specifically said do not put the dog in a cage she's never been in a cage you all know Bella she's never been in a cage so they put the leash on the dog they started proceeding to walk the dog make her walk in and I said you're gonna have to pick her up because she doesn't she usually wears a halter she's not used to being led by the neck and she says, oh no, all dogs have to walk at least half the way. And as soon as we turned around, she ended up picking up the dog. Now, how PetSmart works is it's all glass and you can see them grooming your dog. You can just stand there. So that's why I wanted to go there because that's what the fella said. You can sit there, they never leave the dog. You can just sit there and they'll groom the dog right in front of you. You can sit in the window. So we walked across the parking lot to get something to eat. There's a restaurant that was right in the parking lot, a fast food restaurant. We got our food. As soon as we sat down, my cell phone started ringing. And they said Bella was in the back of the cage barking and growling and baring her teeth. I'm thinking, what the heck is going on? This dog baring her teeth, trying to snap at them when they put their hands in the cage. Well, I said to them, well, just open the cage and put a treat out like this. And she, oh, look at her, she loves treats. She's like, oh, just put it, open the cage, put a treat like this, and she'll come right out. She loves treats. But she said, no, no, it doesn't work like that. Okay, when we got back, they said, no one can go back in the back room without the manager's permission. I said, well, how are we going to get our dog? And the girl's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. We got to wait till the manager calls. So finally, they agreed to let one of us go back in the back room. My husband went back. He said it was lined with wall-to-wall -wall cages. Small cages on the top, large cages on the back, bottom. And he said, the soundproof walls, you couldn't believe it. It was full of barking dogs. And he said it was very, very frightening for a little dog who has never been, never been in a cage. When my husband was taking the dog out, he said to the girl, what was the last thing I told you? He said to, to the girl, what was the last thing I told you not to put her in a cage. And I said, I ordered the rapid service where you stay with the dog. And the manager said on the phone, we can never ever groom your dog because she is, look at this dog, she is an aggressive 
dog. This dog, aggressive. You people have seen my videos. She is the biggest, mm, the biggest little lover there is. Look at her. She is a lover. Look at this hair. She is such a lover. She is the sweetest, sweetest dog. Well, when I got home, I did research on PetSmart and found out that of all these dogs, there's so many dogs that had died, died there getting groomed. It scared the heck out of me. So I said, you know what? I don't know if they gave her something to calm her down and she had a reaction to it. I don't know if she was so intimidated by all the dogs barking back there. I don't know if it's because they put her in a cage that was on top of another cage and she probably stepping on that was so scared like a puppy mill cage. But now she's back to my grooming and as you can tell, I went, I just said, okay, she's back to my grooming. I just tried for one time to give her a nice grooming, like a professional. So I think if I ever, ever want to groom her, I'm going to have to have, for a professional, I'll just have to have the ones that come with the mobile grooming. But I just wanted to share this video out there because my dog was so, she was just shaking like this. So... Thanks for viewing. Say hi to Bella. Say bye-bye, Bella.